quick fold by Dan. And Sorrell has a 9-7 of spades. He will raise it to 16,000. Scott going to take a breather, go out. And now Jeff has a king jack. Now what? He's going to fold his hand. Okay, and Jason in the big blind will make this call with a 10-6. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Flop oh. is a 10-6. Check. Check. What a flop here for Jason. He's flopped top two pair, but notice Sorrell has a straight draw and a flush draw. Yep, and Sorrell is going to bet at 21,000. Well, you know he's going to raise here, Vince. Just a matter how much. Do you ship it all or do you just make a small raise? 46. He's making the small raise. Doesn't want his opponent to go anywhere. Now Sorrell with a big draw. Well, because of Jason's chip count, I think he's just going to set him all in here. All in. Oh, he's pushed it all in and a quick call. Jason with top two pair. Sorrell with the draw. The hand versus the draw. Jason just over a three to two favorite to win this pot and double up. I have a pretty good feeling about this one. What's the percentages? What will it say on the screen? Three to two, Sorrell. Oh, boy. Do you ever have a good feeling when somebody's all in and no. he's got the best hand? No. Here we go to the turn. Oh, it's an eight. What a forecaster. He had a good feeling about it. It's not over. Unbelievable. Just count it out for that 10. It's coming on the river. Jason can still catch a 10 or a 6 and make a full house to win this pot. Doesn't happen. Good game. But I am wowed by the forecasting of Sorrell Mizzy. What does he do besides play poker? Does he have a crystal ball? And